Welcome, this is Tennessee End of Course Practice Test number 3 for Algebra 1, question number 36. Which set represents the relation shown in the graph below? And you've got the nice little graph there, and you've got some possible answers, of course, because it's a multiple choice test. Now, the issue uh, at hand here is the idea of a relation. In order to be in a relationship, it usually takes two people, otherwise it's pathetic. So um, we're going to look for something that shows there's a relationship between the two uh, x and y values here. Specifically, like if at this point, you know, we have the coordinate point of x, y, I'm going to buy negative 6 as my x and my negative 2 as my y. So there should be some sort of uh, relationship between those two points to indicate, or two points on the axis to indicate that there's a point there. Anyway, uh, the first choice they give me is uh, s essentially all the domain values. You'll notice it's at negative 6, negative 4, so all the x values, that sort of thing, or your input if you're in that level independent variable, whatever. Um, on the other side of it, the B would just be the ranges. So once again, one-sided relationships aren't relationships. They're, you know, awful. Now I'm going to see uh, C and D are essentially asking you if you know the difference between X and Y, and since I'm guessing you know the alphabet, it's pretty easy to figure out. Especially since they label the axis X and Y for you. I mean, they can't do much more. So the X comes before Y in the alphabet, same thing with the numbers. So even in the first uh, set here, you can see that negative 6, negative 2 is the match. So you could have gone straight there to the answer, but that's how you get that one. Just make sure you have both parts, and it uh, shouldn't be a big deal.